bless our businesses we give you praise in jesus name we pray okay welcome to business school you may be seated <laughs> praise god all right for the next two three months um god gave me a prophecy last year and i've been shouting this since october november that is bringing us i'm counting myself among is bringing us into some depth of prosperity that is going to be amazing and um when god says that the next thing we should do as a church is to begin to prepare ourselves for it bless me bless me bless me bless me oh god but what the bible says is god will bless the work of your hand how true is that i can't hear you church how true is that so if i'm believing for blessings then i must begin to pay focus and emphasis on the work of my hands so the slogan for this year is everybody must do something <laughs> what did i say uh, so look at the neighbor sitting beside you don't have respect for him or her just say it up loud and clear everybody, everybody must do something. do something go tell your neighbor go do something everybody must do something god will bless me but that blessing will not get to me if there is nothing i'm doing so god only blesses the work of our hands so in the next two three months we'll be learning on how to start a business how to run a business from jesus principles in the scriptures then um, we'll be having guests also that will be coming to be a blessing to us professionals in their various fields that will come and have talk with us so the first service is not uh, for the next two three months will not be that um, spiritual like it used to be you want to go into some business talks and i'm trusting god that heaven will raise entrepreneurs oh my god i said heaven will raise entrepreneurs even if you're a salary earner god can give you more businesses if you have one two you are doing open up yourself to more are we together these are the days of multiple streams of income am i speaking to you okay all right let's go quickly to psalm 1 from verse 1 to 3 i love the scriptures psalm 1 from verse 1 to 3 blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly nor sit nor standeth in the way of sinners nor seated in the seat of the scornful but his delight is where i can't hear you. his delight is where in the law of the lord and in his law doth he meditate when when day and night so 24 7 i meditate the word of god please i'd like you to know something about your mind what you focus your mind on grows in your life are you getting me now if you focus your mind on the word the power of god and the power of his word grows more in your life and because this person focuses on the lord and meditates on the lord what will happen in verse 3 and he shall be like a tree planted by the what rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in what in his season and his leaf shall not wither everybody shout the last sentence and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper whatsoever he doeth shall prosper whatsoever he doeth shall prosper whatsoever he what doeth shall prosper god will be unjust to prosper a lazy man i like you to note that both in your note and in your mind god will be what unjust to prosper a lazy man so if you are lazy here you are not doing anything and all you want to do you just admire things people wear the car people drive the kind of life people drive if wishes were horses even the dead will rise up and ride on it but wishes don't come to pass now wait till you take your hand do go come through are you getting me so what you put your hand on and what you do with your hand that's what god says i am permitted to prosper another another scripture says let him that stole steal no more 
but let him walk with his hands that which is good that he may have to give oh i love the scripture let him that stole steal no more but let him walk with his hands that which is what good that he may have so two things are there number one you steal because you don't have and we know some still they have but yet they keep stealing until they are caught and shut down like they don't the rest shall be caught are you afraid to say amen uh -huh, okay so number one you must put your hand to work and when you put your hand to work god says he will bless you and increase you you will not be a beggar in 2018 uh, okay i'm not a beggar forever i've not been one i will never be one <laughs> So who is an entrepreneur? I'm speaking on entrepreneurship. Who is an entrepreneur? An entrepreneur is one who undertakes a business venture. An entrepreneur is one who undertakes a what? A business venture. Someone that undertakes a business venture. That's an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur is not a title. An entrepreneur is a worker. An entrepreneur is what? A worker. An entrepreneur is not a lazy person. That you own your business does not mean you should wake up by 10 a.m. An entrepreneur is an active person, is an agile person, is up there, out there, thinking, planning, programming. So an entrepreneur is one that undertakes a business venture. Go to Proverbs 31. Proverbs 31 from verse 16 to 19. An entrepreneur is not is neither a male or a female. Are we together? And so ladies too in this house must do something. Don't forget the slogan for the year. What is it? Everyone must do something. Tell the person beside you, everyone, everyone. must do something. All right. Proverbs 31 16. She considered a what? A field and buy at it. Look, I look. I, I love this story. The Bible didn't say she saw the fruit and bought it. She didn't buy the fruit. She bought the what? The field itself. She bought the land. He who owns the land owns whatever is on it. An entrepreneur is not just looking for quick gain. An entrepreneur is looking for something that can be established on a long term. Am I speaking to you? If you become an entrepreneur, if you're starting a business because you want to make money, you'll miss it. Am I talking to you? An entrepreneur does not start a business basically because he wants to make money. He starts a business because he has a passion for it. Am I speaking to us now? Uh, a business, everybody must make money. Okay, how can I make money? How can I make money? Okay, let me sell this. You will run into trouble. <laughs> the scripture says those that make haste to make money will fall into what? Diverse temptation. She didn't buy the fruits. That is wisdom. She bought the field. I don't just want to be a shareholder. Sorry, I don't just want to buy the product of the company. I want to be a shareholder in the company. They are two different things. Oh, come on, am I speaking to you? They are two different things. I don't just want to take salary from the company. I want to be a what? A shareholder. Many people have been shouting, why was Asevenga not sacked? Because he's not producing maximumly. Even as a fan of Arsenal team, I sometimes I feel I can do better. sometimes i feel like i can do better because baba will just sit there they'll be destroying the match people will be shouting we'll just relax and we watch it <laughs> but how many of you understand the fact that wenga is a shareholder in national football club conte is an employee you get what i'm saying so this man is the oldest coach in premier league so far he's underperforming yet they keep him there because he has a share there this 
listen oh, this woman saw the product in the market she didn't buy the product she went to the field and bought it am i talking to someone here yeah i know you are a staff in that office but there are other offices that are selling their shares there are other offices there are other companies that are selling some of the things that can make you uh a shareholder, some of the things that can make you one of the owners of the company. She considered it a field and buy it, it with the what? Oh, come on, read the scripture. With the what? The fruit of her hands, she planted a vineyard. Look at this. Oh, she bought a field somewhere, she plants another vineyard somewhere. A woman. She bought one here in Ikeja and on the island she starts another vineyard. She's collecting salary in local government and somewhere else she has a shop. Am I speaking to you now? This is a wise woman. How many of you know the husband of this woman will respect her? Some ladies have no say at home because She guarded her loins. Can you see activity? She guarded her loins with what? Strength. And strengthened her arms. She's hard working. An entrepreneur is an hard worker. So before you start, I want before you start thinking of starting a business, please check. Are you wired up for it? Am I speaking to us? Uh, in the series, we are going to get to uh, the traits or uh, characteristics of an entrepreneur. What an entrepreneur should have. Because not everyone is wired up naturally for business. Have you ever met somebody you don't feel like buying, you don't need what they want to sell to you, but you end up buying it? Have you also met somebody who is a sales rep, but the more he tries to convince you, the more you hate him and his product? Because the way he's talking to you, self, it vex you. You de vex. Say, what is this one they talk? Maybe he's not cut out for it, but he must just make hands meet. Hands don't meet. Oh. He say, I was just trying to make hands. Hands don't meet. People that try to make hands meet never make it. Hands don't meet. <laughs> Verse 18 now. She perceiveth that a merchandise is good what is merchandise goods product see in verse the, the, for, the first verse we read she bought a field after buying a field she planted a vineyard and when the fruit with the fruit of her hand she planted the vineyard Abby? and when she saw that the product is good so an entrepreneur is not just doing business anyhow an entrepreneur does business in good ways an entrepreneur watch the excellence in his product and services if you are going to remain in business you must watch yourself mm. she perceived that a merchandise is what is good is your product good is your branding good that's another thing we are going to talk about have you branded your business enough to attract people praise god Hallelujah. and there's a guy that cuts uh we, we parked into a place and there's a guy that caught beside the house so anytime i get there late i'll just go um but i don't really like the place but because he's so close to my house just um just beside my house so i'll go there the place is so small we we'll squeeze ourselves like this and um, sometimes the guys come they smoke they do all that ah, they play some dirty music so one of these days i i just decided i need another place so i took a stroll and i saw a place it has about um it's a very big place there is ac there and um the guy has about four five uh seats where you can barbers that can give you some good cuts and um 
there is also a waiting room that before it's your turn you can sit in the waiting room and watch dstv and enjoy yourself praise god and it was even yesterday i noticed that behind the waiting room is his own office so it's a long place so when i saw that i parked my car i said this place look like it so i entered um hello you're welcome sir this one was speaking good english the other place pastor she wa pa she wa alright so from the first guy that met me by the road they came down they picked my bag my clipper bag from me i felt wow good services this looks like it so number so let me now say how they caught so the guy he, res, he didn't know i was a pastor but he respected me so well carried my bag fixed this thing so i was looking around looking around and looking around mm, when i finished i paid him extra 400 naira. That was how my former Baba lost a client. So until one day she came, the, the guy came to my gate. Bah, 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 bah. So somebody went there and said, Pastor, you want more? You want more? You have not offended me. You have not offended me, but um, your services is not good. services is not good. How many of you have changed business place because you are not getting what you expected? And do you even know that people can change church because they are not getting what they expect? Somebody is laughing. You are supposed to pack, help them pack a car very well and you shouted on them when they are packing. The person may not come back again. Why are you looking at me? Didn't Jesus say I must be about my father's business? So even ministry must be looked at that way sometime to have maximum product. She considered her merchandise is good. I can't do go ahead not out by what? Even at night. She's thinking about her business. She's drawing out business plan. She's planning, setting out goals, what to do for the year. She's a very active woman. You can't tell this woman to have 21 children at home. Because some ladies are just baby factory. If you're having too many children, it's because you don't have any bridges you are doing. I'm sorry. In the days of our parents, they can have seven, ten children. In our days. Hmm. If God has blessed you, you can have as many as you want. But the fact that you have seven children is telling me something. You are not a business person. If you're a business lady or you're a career inclined person, nobody's going to tie you down at your at this age and tell you to have seven kids. Excuse me. When are you going to have time for yourself? And all the seven are just <laughs> Oh my God. You know, it's good, it's good. You are so blessed. I envy you. Okay, verse 19. She laid her hands to the what? Spindle and her hands hold the distaffs. She stretched out her hands to the poor. See, she's even a philanthropist. Can you get that? She stretched out her hands to the poor. Yes, she reached forth her hands to the what? Verse 21. She's not afraid of the snow for her household. She can enter any weather to make provision. The Bible said, the lazy man said, there is lion on the street, so I don't want to go out. <laughs> it's cold. Oh, yeah, moon. Snow is falling. How many of you saw the, the, the video on the Facebook of one Ekiti man in there? Who sent him there? <laughs> Even his bed is frozen. <laughs> she, she what? She's not afraid of the snow for her household. For all her household are clothed with scarlet. She maketh herself covering her. She's even a tailor. This woman is too much. So, an entrepreneur is one that undertakes a business what? Venture. Number two, an entrepreneur is a sole business runner sole business runner she runs 
he or she runs a business now as an entrepreneur you don't need too many people to start up depending on what you want to really start you don't overstaff at the beginning so an entrepreneur is just is he starting up or he's starting up a business maybe one or two people or even himself and not every business is need a shop from the beginning not every business is need an office from the beginning i've seen people the first money they get they just get a big shop what do you want to put there heaven will provide you lack wisdom it is what to sell you get first there are many online businesses that are doing very well no shop no particular space and yet the person is making what money all you do is you just get some some people that help you for delivery maybe one thousand one thousand five for delivery and that's all and there are guys that really want to do that so an entrepreneur he makes the business sorry he makes the decision himself he gets the profit and when the uh, uh, failure comes he, he takes it too are we getting it all right number three look at this an entrepreneur is one who plans organizes and takes what leadership of a business venture with a mindset of making profit this is very important it's not a business if profit making is not part of it am i speaking to you now it's not a business if profit making is not what part of it yeah it's your passion i i understand but the fact that it's your passion also mean that you must make what profit if it's going to be business that must be profit making we must be able to value your input and your what your output So an entrepreneur is one who plans, organizes, takes leadership responsibility of a business venture with a mindset of what? Making profit. The mindset of making profit. Isaiah says, he teacheth my hands to profit. He what? He teacheth my hands to profit. He teacheth my hands to profit. You will not fail Amen. oh my god i say you will not fail Amen. in the name of jesus christ matthew 13 from verse 45 matthew 13 from verse 45 again the kingdom of heaven is like unto a what merchant man we just saw a merchant woman <laughs> and now we are looking at a merchant man okay this is jesus speaking of so we are looking at the business principle of jesus even jesus have business principle how many of you know that jesus spoke about money more than any other thing uh oh you don't know go and check all these illustrations and parables the kingdom of god is liking unto liking unto parable of talents parable of dollars and all that <laughs> okay it was reverend sam that changed it to parable of dollars all right but the talents day was actually talking about money he spoke about money a lot again the kingdom of heaven is like unto a what merchant man seeking goodly pairs okay Verse 46. who when he had found one pair of what great price look at what he did went and sold all that he had and what bought it hello now um two things are involved here <laughs> before you invest investigate do we know that before you invest do what investigate okay before you put all your money into one business please make sure you have made enough research on that line of business in fact the general counsel is this if you are starting a new line of business that you've not done before don't put everything into it are we together you can start up a bit and understand it for a while before you start up and normally you should get a mentor that will help you are we together 
that will help you with some basic training before you go ahead and just put everything um, into it. Please, another side to this is that um, sometimes you desire a line of business but you don't know much about it. And there are people that know so well about it. Such can be what? Employed. Are we together? Some can, such can be employed to undertake the major decision making in such business while you oversee whatever they do. All right? Nothing says you must head all your business ventures. Dangote does not. How many will he? How many will he even sit upon and say, I want to rule over? Are you getting what I'm saying? The guy is still expanding and expanding and expanding. Now he's coming into oil. God, refineries already is into food, is into beverages, into cement, is into. If that man closes all his venture, Nigeria will just. Phew. Can you imagine one person? I believe this merchant man was looking for something. So when he found it, he knew. Oh, are you getting it? He was busy looking for what something so the moment he found it he knew this is what i want you don't start a business if you have not made up your mind on what you want to do because if you are not careful everything will look like what you want to do as you drive around you see cars and you say wow look at this guy see the way they do their car you know we may not give my Toyota, an Honda, and a Benz. A Toyota, an Honda, a Benz. But this guy now went and bought Cherry, Chevrolet, <laughs> huh? Chrysler. He filled his store with Chrysler. <laughs> there was a car in those days, Opel. <laughs> How many of you know Opel? Yeah, he brought them in and put them in shop. And now took anointing oil from Pastor Magadayada. Ah! He won't see me. <laughs> he won't see me. Because it's either Lexus is good because Lexus, you know, Lexus has been bought over by Toyota. Alright, so it's just it's the most it's shall it, same thing. So he doesn't have all those, and he went and get all those American cars that we don't have the technology of here. Not all our mechanics can handle American cars. I used Ford for, for some years, but uh, I noticed some of our guys don't know how to handle it. But Toyota product, even the guy by road can fix it. Even you, the way they are, when they are fixing it and you are looking at it well, the next time when something happens, you go do it. <laughs> all right. Okay, so you must investigate well what, what goes around in your circle where you are before you go ahead and do something. Can you imagine somebody importing, uh, 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 exporting generator from Nigeria to the UK? <laughs> he said, God has opened my eyes. I'm starting a great business. He said, what's the business? I'm taking generators to the United Kingdom. you can conclude that he has already failed before he started i remember my first trip i ironed all my clothes i dry cleaned all my clothes i placed them in case there is no light every me here yeah babe? i'll catch you don't worry <laughs> praise God. It's a different culture. Absolutely different. But there are some there are some that were not high on. So the moment I got there <clears throat> the first thing I did was Tolujo, Ayonda Cesare Law 
Give me a, let me quickly high on um, this shirt. She laughed. It was when she was laughing, I caught what she was laughing about. Don't be my fault. At the Darubos in Nigeria, Jade. You already old men in Nigeria. <laughs> Before we made the first trip. <laughs> so this guy knew what he was searching for he found a pearl of great price he went and sold all so before you invest all on something investigate am i talking to us okay you're a tailor you want to start uh, uh, a catering business you, you just love baking okay there's nothing bad at that but please before you take all the all what tailoring business has given you and you just throw it on catering business please think where and you must also understand that an entrepreneur is a risk taker so i'm trying to balance that an entrepreneur is also what a risk taker they take risk you can't every businessman see if you know get liver no do business <laughs> let me use that general slang if you know get waiting liver no do business what does that mean if you are not bold at heart don't go into businesses. You know, the reason why some can't do business is because they want a secure job, salary. I know whatever happened, my salary oh, is complete. My salary is 70000 in the name of Jesus. It's not increased, it's not reduced. Blessed be the Lord. <laughs> but you know, business gives you the opportunity to express yourself. To express your inbuilt talent. There is something that is hidden in you that sometimes your paid job may not give you the ability to express. Business helps you to express and unleash those things. It's good. Very important. Now verse 47. This is another story, as it were. So we saw a business lady and a businessman. So how to pick a line of business? Let me say one or two things there. I will be off today because of time how to pick a line of what a business number one understand your passion first understand your passion first there is this yoruba slogan that says until your magic be well at all huh? okay um and one of the things our mothers in those days used in helping themselves to have as many children as they want they say on tomo maje amotik dewa waiting children go chop you don't carry and come from heaven so you open your baby hand you saw school fees there have you <laughs> how many of you have seen that you just open the hand of your baby and you saw the school fees there Potential is what you can do that you have not done. Okay? The passion is the drive to do what you can do that you have not done. Are you getting it? Oh, are you getting it? Your potential is your gift in you. Your passion is your drive to fulfill the gift in you. So, um, you must understand your passion. What are you passionate about? I noticed as a young man as I was growing up, um, I've, I haven't been called into ministry. I notice when I see a sick person, I begin to blame myself for their sickness. As if I'm the reason why they are sick. When I see somebody in problem, um, this person is just stagnated, things are not moving. I have seen cases, that's one of the reasons why sometimes we minister and I see myself shedding tears. It's not because we want to, I get emotional when I see a sick person or someone that is in problem. An helpless person in problem triggers something inside me. So that makes me understand something that there is something God has placed within me to help people, even before I came into ministry. Now, everyone here, you will understand that there is something that drives you. If you have not noticed it, it's because you have not looked where. 
you don't need a teacher to teach you to know something within you that drives you. Am I speaking to people? Some, it is music. They can turn anything to music. Anything. Wake them up anytime. A song will come. A song will come. Just like potential. You don't struggle to know a potential. It's there. It's natural. Your potential is what you can do naturally. Something that comes out of you freely. Something that you don't even need people to pay you for before you do it. It's just, it's just like nature. It's natural. That's how your potential is. So you must understand your passion. Proverbs 22, 29. Proverbs 22, 29. Seest thou a man that is what? Diligent in his what? The business. is passionate. Please, can I have another translation? Observe people who are good at their work. Is that all? Okay. Do you see a man skilled in his work? In his work, an entrepreneur is a man that is good at what he does. He's skilled. He will serve before kings. He will not serve before what? Obscure men. This year, 2018, may you begin to serve before great people. So when we pray, Lord, take me to great people, you must also begin to ask yourself, what do I have that great people will desire? I was sharing something before the men um, yesterday, that God said great people will visit us. So if God says great people will visit us, and great people shall be raised from the house, then we must begin to do our meetings like meetings for great people. Like all right? Okay. Another, do we still have another version? Do you see any true? Uh -huh, do you see any truly competent worker? Ask yourself: Are you competent at what you are doing? We don't pray for promotion; we qualify for promotion. What did I say? We don't only pray for promotion; we do what? We qualify. That guy lost me not because I hate him. No, I don't hate him. But I saw incompetence. But I saw, for the same price, I saw a better service. How many of you will hold on to the old one? Huh? For the same price? Now I'm willing to even pay more. In fact, there are two guys now that compete the battle because they know something must drop. Something was what? Job. So do you see a truly competent workers? They will serve kings rather than working for ordinary people. <laughs> In the name of Jesus, from this day, may you work for great people. Heaven will connect you to greatness and to great people in Jesus' name. So please, you must understand. One, what's my potential? Then how passionate are you? If you are passionate about your business, nobody will push you to do it when you are supposed to do it. Are we together? Okay, like I said, you are the owner of the business. That's the reason why you should get there first and live there last. Because if anything happens, somebody else can what? Go. But you as the owner, you bear the risk, you bear the profit, you bear the, the loss, God forbid. So that's why you must be passionate. If I see a young person that lacks passion for life, I don't need to be a prophet to prophesy that this one cannot become anything great. We were in pastor's meeting and the bishop was teaching us that he has, this, he has uh, uh, 24 hours. He has made it two days. Two days in one day. And he gave us the time how we spent this day. I thought he was joking. I went to Kenalan to pray and I sat down on the street uh, very close to his office. Got there around 12. Then I noticed the bishop was still in the office. The car park lot for pastors were still filled up. If your boss is walking by 12, where you go? If you are all living in Kenalan, I am in the office, you are sleeping. Who is paying you? <laughs> so I saw him around 1.30. He drove up. That was when he 
So by 5.36, according to him, he's up. 6.30, is back in the office. He walks till 2. He takes a break from 2 to 4. Goes home, rest, relax. That is one day gone. He resumes again by 6. And he takes it from 6 to 1. Second day, two days, one day. For anything to become great, there must be great input. Am I speaking to us? If you lazy around your business, it won't grow beyond your nose. It won't grow beyond your nose. I met a young man here in one of our services. All he does is a um, horticultural become planting of flowers. That's what he does. When he showed me the pictures of the designs he created with flowers, I was amazed. You see him in church with suits. You don't know that flower in the blue. Always in church, deck up, suit top, nice glasses. We, we got chatting and he said, Pastor, this is what I do. He brought me the album and I saw great places, beautiful places, and all he does is to design flowers. Be passionate about what you do. Tell the person decided to be passionate. The Bible said something about Jesus. He entered into the sanctuary and they saw people buying and what? And selling. He brought out Koboko. He whipped them and threw them out. <laughs> and someone observed him and said, wow, the zeal of his what? His father's house has hidden him up. That's the passion. Passion for the work. Understand the market trend and analysis before you choose a business line. Understand the what? The market trend. And please do your analysis well. Like I said, do your investigation well. Plan. Understand the market trend. Please. This is very, very important. Starting a business, you will understand that majority of the business you want to start, somebody is already what? Doing it. So, you must have a benchmark. You know what we, what we call a benchmark? You understand a dry cleaning business, you must have somebody that is already doing that dry cleaning business that you use as what? A benchmark. Either you are close to the person or not, it doesn't matter. I go to churches, I don't know nobody there, and I just go there to check how they do things. New members, I also stand up and check how their meet and greet will, will accept me. one I pick from KICC Church in London is still in my, beside my bed. I go to churches like that, I pick it, and I check, okay? You know why I'm checking? I want to improve on the one I'm doing. Very important. So understand the market trend. That's which you want to start up. Who is doing it? How are they doing it? Who is number one in the market? Hmm? Now, what does the law say about what you want to start? Am I speaking to us? Or am I talking to you? Don't just start a business. What does the law say about the kind of business you want to start? Is it allowed? Is it legal? Is it illegal? Must it be registered first before you start? Many people have started schools and the schools were not registered. You can do it as a mushroom school for a while, but if you really want to make it a big thing, it must be what? Register and some registration is fake. Somebody just said, Okay, I'm buying she registration 25k. I said, ah, That one is cheap. Thank you, sir. For your well, you have just wasted your money. Get a lawyer, get a lawyer. And some businesses just start, excuse me, before you start, if, if the future you have seen about that business is great, you must have a business plan. Abby? You must have a business plan. What's the plan for what you're about to start? Please, believers, fail in businesses because we turn business to spiritual ventures. Okay, when we come into branding your business, I'm going to say something. All oh, this Jesus is Lord can 
team. Shalom, dry cleaning service. Excuse me. Is that a church? Is it a church? If it's not a church, so why use such a name that can push some people apart? By seeing Jesus is Lord, nursery and primary school. Some Muslims will never come there. Some names can attract to you and expel people from you. It's not a church, so it doesn't have to be religious in his name. And some names are very funny. They are so long that you can't remember everything at once. Holy Ghost International. <laughs> Memorial. Holy Ghost International Memorial Nursery Montessori and School. <laughs> People from the name, you are pissed off. When they ask you, what's the name of the school? Um, Montessori. <laughs> because it's so what? So long. train please this is very important don't just buy cars okay check what are the futures what can it do what can it not do does it suit the terrain terrain and if you want it to suit the terrain where you live so what can you do to make it better do you understand that this is very important otherwise you may invest so much and see so little and you think it's one devil somewhere and sometimes it there is no devil anywhere. It's just that you don't know what you're doing. May the Lord give us understanding. Amen. I have to round off, not because I'm done, but because of time. The Lord bless everyone. In Jesus' name. Is there anybody here with business plan or uh, anything that represents your business? I announce that we should come with it. If you are not here with yours today, make sure you come with it next week are we together oh come on are we together all right i want to introduce some books to us some i've read and i trust they are going to um they are going to minister surgical i know they are going to be a great blessing to us the first one is start with what you have um by reverend sam this this will bless you how many of you have read this book start with what you have this book helps you to start business from the scratch from the point of your potential you can start everybody can own one business from one thing you know how to do now if you have listened to people that travel abroad they will tell them before you travel please make sure you learn one handiwork if it's a lady they'll tell them please learn how to make hair even guys will learn baby all right because it's a lot of money over there when they take twenty dollars from cutting their hair how much is a dollar 350 times 20. Huh? Ma? seven thousand naira. so can you imagine a salon in nigeria where they take seven thousand naira to just cut your hair that's what cutting of hair costs in some places in the United in the United States, twenty dollars. That's just normal cutting. If you now want to make some, they will charge you more. This one is there to stand out for young entrepreneurs. This this book is actually written by one of my youth those days. We still communicate though. Um, this book had over fifty businesses you can start. Over how many businesses? Fifty. In fact. We are going to be checking some of them and we're going to be learning from this book particularly over 50 50 businesses you can start as a young person that will bless you um this is jesus the entrepreneur okay um 500 naira is another one just business christian ethics for marketplace this will bless you uh, your salary and now you're a business person how what kind of character do i build to help my businesses to be fine and i also believe so much in the miraculous so working in the miraculous bishop Oedepo. this takes business beyond the natural it takes business into the spiritual and we enjoy abundance please make sure